Hello and welcome to Cupid's Point Cloud new plant features introduction video. This video will show you the new functionality in our Point Cloud product that can help automate piping on top of Point Cloud data. One of our new features is called a smart section. This feature lets you take a PCG file format Point Cloud and improve the visual quality on the desired section. To do this, you can use our basic tools to clip and mask the point cloud to get just the data you want to work with. Once you have done this, you can use the section manager to create a smart section and you will have two options, one of just showing the section and one of showing the section overlaid on top of the original PCG file. The other advantage to this is that it improves the filtering of the points. So when you select a point, you do not have to worry about a point in the background being mistaken for your chosen point. When you start the smart section process, you'll be able to select the percentage of points to create the smart section from. In many cases, 50% will be more than adequate for viewing at a high quality. As you can see here, 50% is still much higher than the original PCG file at 100%. One of the most important new features is called Walk the Run. This allows the user to start on one end of a pipe run and then walk through the line while automating fitting detection. You can start a new run or continue from an existing run using the Walk the Run toolbar button. In the case of starting a new run, you pick two points on a pipe. The software will automatically detect the diameter, assign the nominal size, and then stretch the pipe to its limits. From this case, the user has a few options. One option is they can do the same process on the next pipe, in which case the software will try to detect the fitting in between those pipes. Another option is that they can extend the pipe to a given point, in which case the software will try to detect a fitting connected to that endpoint. When dealing with piping components, pattern recognition is very important. Our software can detect tees, reducers, elbows, flanges, pipes, etc. right out of the box. For fittings that are harder to detect or that are not included in the catalog, a user has the option of creating a custom pattern by clicking areas of the point cloud and then creating a brand new pattern. In this example, we're detecting the T is connected by a branch. On one side of the T is a concentric reducer, and there's an elbow on the other. You can choose which way to go first. In the case of the reducer, the easiest way to do it is to select the pipe on the other side. It then detects the correct diameter reducer, then inserts it in the correct location. Same thing can be said for the elbows and this flange valve assembly being drawn in here. Now please note that Flange valve assemblies at this time are drawn as a cylinder just to have an intelligent center line. In the future, we will have a more accurate solid representation. Also, it's important to know that these gaps in between the fittings are not important at this time. If you look closely, you can see a line connecting these fittings. And that is how our software knows that they are linked. Later on, we will do an apply constraints, which will take these fittings and align them to the best fit scenario. Continuing on the other side of this T, we simply find this elbow. It then knows the pipe is after it, and then we detect the second flange valve assembly. Please note how the elbow and T do not match the point cloud very well. This was done in order to show you our next feature called Apply Constraints. Apply Constraints is to make sure that the solids and center lines are very accurate to the actual point cloud data. Select Apply Constraints from the toolbar, then you select any object on the run. The dialog box will then tell you how many objects are connected. Once you apply constraints, you can see that the objects have now assumed their best fit location. 
the elbow and the T in the reducer now match up with the rest of the line. This is done to give you a very accurate center line as well as the most accurate solid representation of the actual data. One of the main reasons for providing this functionality is to give the user intelligent center lines which can then be taken into other 3D piping applications to complete the modeling. Each fitting has its own center line with a correct starting and end point as well as data such as nominal size, diameter, and component type. All of these center lines are held on their own layer and the properties can be changed to the user's liking. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, for more details, you can always go to our website at qubitusa.com or check out other videos like this on our YouTube channel, Qubit TV.